I'm really not certain whether or not I'm pulling this shirt off. I'm like 50-50. So, this is going to be a review of Hester Fox, the author, her two books that are out now, in five minutes or less. So, we should get into it. I have read her debut novel, The Witch of Willow Hall. I read it maybe about this time last year. And then I just finished, I think earlier today, uh, The Widow of Pill Harbor. Her next book, The Orphan of Cemetery Hill, is coming out on the 15th of September. So really soon. All of Hester Fox's books generally have this very like dark academia type vibe. They're all uh, mysteries that have aspects of fabulism that take place in a historical setting. So kind of this really cool intersectional genre. Her first book, The Witch of Willow Hall, is about these three sisters who, because of a scandal that happened back home, are uprooted suddenly and moved to a house in the middle of the country. However, in this house, there is this dark force that is starting to influence the way the sisters feel and the things that they do. I gave this one 4.5 stars. I really loved it. There was just like one or two little things that kind of got in the way. The plotting of this book <laughs> is amazing. I, the stuff in the reveals that happen in this book are insane and I love them so much. I was literally like something would happen and then I would have to take a break because I was so surprised and so excited or so distraught. It was, I was literally like I couldn't put it down. I think I read this book in like a day because I was just on the edge of my seat because I wanted to know what happened. Also, the like interdynamic relationship between all three sisters oh my god it was amazing they all honestly felt like real people it was insane they're not even necessarily likable but they just were so detailed the the work that she did with these characters in this book it was just immaculate if i'm gonna pull out an sat word the reason i did take off half a star is although a majority of this book takes place in the house and among these three sisters and their parents uh, when they did bring in other characters that they went out of town uh those characters felt comparatively kind of underdeveloped compared to the others and the general setting of the town outside of the house also. I loved it, I was thinking about it for days, and I was really excited to read The Widow of Pearl Harbor when it came out. Her second book, The Widow of Pearl Harbor, is about a man named Gabriel Stone, who after the death of his wife is just racked with guilt. And so he decides to move to the town of Pearl Harbor to become the minister that she always wanted him to be. However, when he gets to Pearl Harbor, he finds out from the townspeople that there have been a whole bunch of dead animals and dummies that have been found strangely posed around town. And all of the townspeople blame this reclusive widow named Sophronia Carver, whose husband died of mysterious circumstances a year or two ago. Gabriel, however, finds himself strangely drawn to Sophronia Carver after meeting her. The Widow of Pearl Harbor. I gave it three stars. I was generally somewhat disappointed. I really thought this would be five stars because I love the first one so much. This one focused a lot more on the actual mystery than it did the characters. I would say the world building and the characters, it was better than the side characters of The Witch of Willow Hall, but it was not as good as the character and world building of the house and the three sisters of The Witch of Willow Hall. So it falls somewhere in between there. For the first three quarters, we'll, we'll talk about that. Overall, I would have given the first three quarters four stars. Don't really have much to say about it. Like I said, it was good. It just wasn't great. However, the last quarter, particularly the end, I was a little upset. <laughs> it felt a little bit rushed. There, it comes to an ending that in my mind just does not make sense. You have a motive. I just, there's no way that I can think of that explains the how of this person, and it's never explained in the book. 
because the ending is so rushed. It's not an ending where I think a reader could reasonably get to that conclusion because this person is arguably ruled out by some of the things that happened earlier in the book. Although this book kind of comparatively left a little bit of a more sour taste in my mouth after reading it compared to this one, I am definitely excited to read The Orphan of Cemetery Hill, her new book that's coming out later this month. <laughs> Mid next month, not this month. So yeah, uh, that's the end of the review. I'm hoping to turn this into some kind of series where I do less than five minute spoiler free reviews of books I've read because I think it could be kind of fun.